Hi everyone, I have my design team project for amazing casting products and I did a little card and this is my first um, project for them and what I did was, and I will have a start to finish um, video, some of it I do explain so some of it won't be fast forwarded but I bought these um, Oh, I haven't cleaned them up yet, so they're a little, uh, I'm trying to find the one that I used. I bought these, these are icing molds that you get. They're very, very thin. So I use these, and I show you how to, the trick to using your resin with them. And what I did was I made this card, and I used some paper from this paper pad. It is the Flight of Fancy. So I used a couple pieces from that line and I had made this out of resin and it is behind here. If you can see that, I'll bring the card up. And it looks just like a doily or a piece of lace, but it's actually resin, which I think is really cool. And then I just used some um, leaf sprays and some flowers that I had in my stash and some organza ribbon here and um, just paper piece, some spellbinder dies and I inked it up with vintage photo and this is another little piece and I'm going to do a video on some embellishments with those but this is another one that I had gotten and look at they look just like doilies and they come out awesome and these are the ones that I'm going to do the resin um, embellishments with and look at those and I think I show that on my video so you'll see that too so that's the card I did um, and I hope you all like it and enjoy the video thanks everybody for watching I'm going to show you how to do this now you're going to want a popsicle stick and not only to stir your your um, your resin, but you're, I'll show you in a minute what you want. And I use these cups because I can squeeze them and get a better tip out of them. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to pour half and half of the resin in. And I'm not going to color this resin. You can make it any color that you have for dyes. I'm kind of eyeballing how much resin to put in. But you want to, you know, it's equal parts. Of course, we all, you know, I'm sure everybody knows that. And then you stir this until it's clear. Well, they're not going to come out clear. They're going to come out a little white. So. And then we're just going to pour this in. And I like these because they look like doilies. And what you want to do with this is I use this to be kind of like, this is what I do with this. This is how I push the resin all around and kind of flatten it out. And you want to work on a surface that is non-stick, like your craft mat. And you're going to want them to harden. And before this starts hardening, I'm going to put some of the violet dye in here. Put that aside. And then get my little stir. I'm going to stir this up. See how dark the color is? These dyes are awesome for this. Okay, so while that's drying, um, I'm going to mix up some resin and just do this last one just to reiterate what we're doing. Two parts of each. I'm going to mix them together. 
and stir them. Until it's clear. And then we're just gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna pour it over. And then I'm gonna use this to get it in the little cracks. And then if you end up with bubbles, what works best is just lighting it with a lighter. Okay, so we're just gonna let that cure. Okay, so this one we poured, and this is how they come out. And if you pull them out before they, uh, they're they hard, um, they're bendable, and you can cut them, but look, they look like little doilies. I don't know if, I'm trying to find a dark piece of paper to put. They look like a doily. And I pulled those out and I pulled the butterfly out. And the butterfly, it, see the little holes? I had to poke some of the other holes. And then you can lay something behind it. And see, they just pop out very carefully. And then like when you get the center, just poke it out. And that one was pretty. So you have that one, and then here. And then once this dries, this picks right off. And that's another one, so it's a resin doily. And there's another one. And then I just did these little bows, and look how thin they are, so, oh my goodness, the things you can do with these. So that's that one. And then this you can just pick off, you know, once it's dry, you can pick all this off, clean it up. Um, I'll do that later. Just go slow, take your time, and look at this. You can just clean it up, 